All right, we're going to take a quick look at some Chinese pewter items and know what you should be looking out for. Um, pewter, you know, it, it's not a precious metal like silver or gold, so uh, exceptional form. Uh, here we've got some really nice, uh, I'm not sure if it's called engine turning in Chinese workmanship, but really fine tea caddy that was just very well worked. And we've got scenes all the way around, 34 bids up to $713. And the, you know, you, you might note the condition of this is uh, pretty scuffed up, but it is a quite a nice 19th century Chinese pewter tea caddy. So it's got a punchy price. And I thought this was quite cool. The, Inkwell. The dating is... I don't know. I don't need to comment on that. It does look like it has a good patina. And good, I mean, this is a really good looking patina uh, on an object. Um, and just this form is really fetching too. It would be a great piece to have on any table anywhere really nice scholars antique and where did we start this $95 so good good start <laughs> a little tired and here we have an antique Chinese pewter tea caddy and I thought this was rather fantastic. And, you know, you've got the classic dragon, three claws, so we're not trying to fake an imperial, uh, an imperial piece. And on the bottom, we have the stamp. So this is probably, you know, Republic period, 19th century pewter tea caddy. That could be, that seems odd that that'd be stamped in English on it though. And this I thought was rather beautiful. And I was wondering if there's markings on it there or not. Yeah, so this French flea market find. This looks like, uh, you know, 17th or, or uh, 18th or early 19th century. Pewter coming out of China, like this is quite a nice piece. It might even be a little more out of Southeast Asia. Um, but 350, it's a little punchy. What, how, what, I wonder what the sizing is. 10 and a half centimeters by four inches. So, what? Yep, that's about what you'd expect. I mean, this could have even been this, like a this could have been a snuff box, a rather large amount of snuff, but it's got that shaping inside. And we have this box on offer that I was curious to pull up. This looks like it is. 50 or 60 years old. And strange condition. It is strange. I was not quite sure what to make of this when I saw it. If we're outside of a pandemic, I might consider buying this. I would offer, I would offer them enough to make this not so painful. But that is it for price check right here. So thanks for sticking around. Make sure to like, follow, and subscribe, and check us out on Twitter as well.